Hello guys, today I am going to show you a crazy chess trick which got its name from English chess player Joseph Blackburn. With this trick, it will only take you 7 moves to checkmate your opponent but you will only be able to play this trick when you know both of its variations. That's why make sure to watch this video till end. So let's go. This chess trick is also known as Blackburn Shilling Gambit and you will be playing this with black pieces. So the game starts with white playing the pawn to e4, you will play e5 and when white plays knight f3 attacking your pawn, you will play knight c6 defending the pawn. After which you will see many people playing bishop to c4. These are very common opening moves and this opening is called Italian game. Now you are all ready to set your trap and in the next move you will play knight to d4. After moving your knight, you left the pawn hanging and now you are inviting him to capture it. Here 90% of people get tempted, they see a free pawn and they capture it. With this move, white has fallen for our trap, let me show you how. In the next move, you will play queen to g5. This attacks the knight but also attacks the pawn on g2. In this position, you will see most of the people simply capturing the pawn with their knight. Cause he not only saved the knight but now he's also attacking our rook as well as queen. Here your opponent might think he's going to win but as a matter of fact he's completely lost. In the next move you will capture the pawn threatening to take his rook. So white really has one option to save the rook which is moving it to the f1 square. Then you will take his pawn with queen which also put his king in check. Now king can't move and he can't block with the queen because it will be captured by our knight. So the only move left is to block the check with bishop. Now it's time to shock your opponent. You will play knight to f3. With this move white king is fully trapped. He can't take our knight cause the bishop is pinned. And in just 7 moves, we have checkmated the white king. If we just go back and let's suppose in this position, white instead of saving his rook, captures your rook with his knight. Then from here you can take the rook with your queen and give check. The king can't move so the only move white can play is to block with bishop. Then you will take pawn with your queen, giving check. White cannot block with queen because of your knight so again he has to block with his bishop. Now knight f3 is not checkmate because he can move his king. So instead you will bring out your bishop into the game. Now no matter what white plays he cannot prevent checkmate. For instance if he plays pawn to d3 then you will play knight f3 check. White has only one move which is king to f1. Now you will play a very clever move which is queen to h4. Here you are threatening checkmate in two ways. Queen f2 is mate and queen h3 is also checkmate. To prevent mate white can play king g2 but after queen f2 he is only left with two options. If he plays king h1 then queen to h2 is mate. But instead if he plays king to h3 then pawn to d6 is a checkmate by our bishop. So this was Blackburn Shilling Gambit. If you have any questions or suggestions you can hit me up on Instagram. And if you like this video then give it a thumbs up. For more chess tricks don't forget to subscribe the channel.